Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie and we're currently in Malacca, Malaysia. So I haven't vlogged for literally maybe two weeks. So this feels super weird to get my camera out or my phone out again and start vlogging. But basically, I think I stopped vlogging in Rishikesh. I think I just had enough of India and I was just like, do you know what? Can't be bothered anymore. So I stopped vlogging in Rishikesh. We then spent a couple of nights in Delhi. Again, I didn't vlog. We then arrived in um, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, almost two weeks ago, two weeks ago in two days. And <coughs> if you can't tell from my voice, I'm still ill. But basically, two weeks ago on Tuesday, I started getting a sore throat. Jeremy was ill before me and he passed it on to me. We think it might be COVID. But two weeks ago on the Tuesday, I started getting a sore throat. And then we flew, well, we spent all of Wednesday in the airport in Delhi and then flew Wednesday night, arrived Thursday. Friday, I started feeling a lot worse. And then basically Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, even Thursday, I was in bed most of the day, all day basically. We'd pop out for food, but I lost my appetite completely, which has still not come back. So I've barely eaten for about a week and a half now, almost two weeks. <coughs> but basically, I've been really ill for the past like 10 days, so I didn't vlog. Like I said, we basically spent 10 days in Kuala Lumpur, but I was ill and in bed. So we did go and see the towers twice. Um, we went to a graffiti street, but I was just honestly not feeling it. So I didn't vlog and I was barely kind of making it through. And we'd, get, we'd go somewhere and visit and then I'd come home and sleep for a couple of hours. So I was just so tired. Anyway, we arrived yesterday in Malacca and I'm starting to feel a bit better. My voice is obviously still not back to normal. I've still got a cough, but I'm going to do my best to show you around because otherwise I'm not going to have anything filmed of Malaysia. So we arrived yesterday. We ended up getting the Airbnb at about 2 p.m. So we're just in a room. We've basically just got a bed and a desk and then we've got a shared bathroom and kitchen. And um, last night was actually the food market. It's called Jonka Street. I think it's called Jonka Walk, something like that. It's a street where they have a night market on the weekends. So on Friday night, Saturday night and Sunday night. Obviously last night was Sunday night. So we went to explore that and enjoy that. We got some food, which was really good. Um, but today I thought I would show you around a little bit of Malacca. So our Airbnb is basically that red building. Um, I'll be able to show you it later on this afternoon, probably. But I thought I would show you because we get amazing views and this is a little canal here. So I thought that was really cute and worth showing you. But we're going to go this way and get some food for lunch. It's currently 1pm. We had lunch here yesterday and it was really good. But we had thunderstorms all last night, like thunder and lightning just above us. So it was super loud. But it also means that the grass behind me you can see here is all really, really wet. So we do need to be careful of where we walk today so we don't walk in puddles. <laughs> So this is where we ate yesterday and it's basically a food hall with different people you can kind of ask for food from different places. So we went there yesterday but we're going to go somewhere different today. So that's called Lock 10 Food and that's literally one second down the street from where we're staying. So just across the street basically is this one which is where we're going to go today to so get some food. I think it's the same sort of thing, you just get food from one of the little stalls. So let's see what they have. So chicken chop rice, grilled chicken chop, fried chicken chop, fish and chips. It's just oh, that one's close. Scallops or fish. Okay, change of plan. There was only one place open in that food hall thing we just walked past. So I'm going to go somewhere else instead called Duck Noodle or something. Our um, taxi driver yesterday was like pointing out all the best places to eat and he said this Duck Noodle place is a good one. So I think we'll go there instead if it's open. But this is where we're walking. It's nice and colourful. Super cute. Okay, so this is the Duck Noodle restaurant. We've just ordered food and Jeremy got this top one. Duck noodle, egg and bean curd and I just got number four duck noodle and they prepare it there for you and this is the place so that's Jeremy's where he's got the egg and then that one's mine and then we've also got soup or something as well so lunch was delicious, would highly recommend it, it was very rich 
I ate about three quarters of mine and gave it to the rest of Jeremy because I'm just not, I've just not got my appetite at the minute. But I um, really enjoyed that. But I thought today I would show you around a little bit of the old town and kind of Jonker Street because we walked down there last night but it was when the market was on so we didn't actually see the shops properly. Um, and I'll be able to actually show you around properly like whilst talking rather than just kind of getting some clips that I got last night. So we came back to where we're staying and that's the river where I showed you earlier and we're currently walking along here to get into town and it's beautiful. There are these river cruises, we're not going to do it today but maybe or definitely you know the day we'll be doing a boat cruise but I thought I would show you this because it's so pretty that you can walk along the water like this and this walkway along the water basically takes you to Jonka Street or Jonka Way whatever it's called which is kind of the touristy street and it's also where there's the old buildings and things like that. So that's the view across the river and then down there it's beautiful. And what's interesting about Malacca is that it was once um, colonised by the Portuguese, the Dutch and the English. So there's lots of different um, kind of architecture and influences, things like that. Like there's a Dutch house and there's different churches and things like that kind of correlating back to the different people who have colonised the town. So super interesting. I think these guys are cleaning the water. So we're making our way into town and Jonker Street is just next to that red sign there. But I thought I would show you this because there's quite a few tea houses here and I thought this building was really, really pretty with the blue and the flowers. So the old red buildings are down there. I'm going to show you down there in a second. There's the Hard Rock Cafe, which is down by the canal as well. I'll show you that. But that is Jonker Walk. That's what it's called, Jonker Walk. And that's where the market was last night and they have all these um, tuk-tuks that are all decorated and they all light up as well which is really cool. But Jeremy has gone in this shop, Lulala. So let's go and have a look in here. There's loads of random things in this place like these biscuits. There's also pick and mix things but it's pick and mix like I've never seen before. Shredded coconut. Is that mango? Black plum slice, licorice, salted goma sticks, no idea what that is, orange peel, bentong ginger, shredded white papaya, honey mandarin, orange peel, that sounds good. Last night we came down here and it was full of markets all the way down the street and full of people as well. So it's interesting to see it a little bit emptier with cars running down the middle. But it'd be nice to see some of the shops that we didn't get to see last night. And also I can kind of show you around a little bit. There's the Jonker Walk sign up there. Okay, let's explore. So we saw this place last night and I was trying to, I was trying to tell Jeremy that we should be those people that wear matching clothes and he wouldn't go for it. but. Wouldn't we be just the coolest dudes wearing that, like a dress and a shirt matching? We're well, just looking in the shop because I saw these and wanted to show Jeremy and I thought I may as well show you as well. Aren't they awful? <laughs> anyway, lots of different shoes and things in here. Cool. We're going to have a look in this one, Jonko Gallery, souvenirs and ladies accessories apparently. So I keep seeing handheld fans everywhere and I think it's a brilliant idea but I thought this one's cute, it's like a little camera with a fan. Um, but, whoops, that nearly fell. But I do think these are quite handy, they're about 15 which is about 3 euro or something like that. These handheld fans, I think that could actually be really useful on like planes and trains and honestly just walking around because it gets so hot here and it's USB chargeable but it doesn't say well it doesn't say in English how long it would last the battery but and they also have bigger ones and like these style ones so they got loads of different things in the shop including fluffy hair bubbles which I think is so cute oh my gosh why is that the cutest thing ever if you had a hair bun and then put that in your hair I'm sure Jeremy Jeremy Okay, they also have fluffy hair grips, which I think that is so cute. Why is that just the cutest thing ever? I actually might get one of those. That's adorable. 
I personally love some fake Prada not and the way they as well okay we've come to another shop and we saw those these last night actually and I think it's just sugar and I guess it's what they may call you know the palm trees and things you can get these blocks of sugar for 390 and five is a euro so you can figure out that but if you let if you know please do let me know if it is just um, sugar palm sugar so I've realized they all say Jonker Gallery and then it has the name at the size that's my tea story Maybe we do matching shirts. No. Cute. So this shop is a flea market and I love these. We came in here yesterday. If I had a house, I would have bought these five times over already on our travels. I love these for salads and things. But it's called the flea market this one there's kind of lots of different like wholesale bits like massage tools they've got yo-yos oh my gosh i used to have a yo-yo when i was a kid that's cool okay so we're just on this street next to koyami and there's this artist studio blurry music and it's got incredible artwork inside i'm not going to film too much inside because obviously it's someone's artwork but it's so so cool really really enjoyed the paintings of the buildings those ones there so cool anyway we're still exploring a little bit we've also bought bracelets i didn't tell you that we bought a bracelet each i got a beige and we got a blue um and yeah we're currently walking down here so this is cheng hoon teng um chinese temple from the 1640s and it's been restored so we were just walking past, I was like, oh, let's go in there. So I thought I'd show you as well. So we've come around the back and here's the, um, what do you call it? It's not like a gravestone, but it almost is. Memorial, I guess. So interesting, we don't do this in Europe. At least not that I'm aware of. And there's this as well, this huge, like, rock with lots of different statues on it. You can see there, Jeremy, for size, but... Lots of different like Buddhas and things. There's some more heads, like another whole room full of them. So interesting. temple here I thought I would quickly show you before I get run over. How cute! So we just saw the back of this temple from the other side. So we decided to walk around and come and see it and the roof is incredible. That's so fun. Anyway, let's look around this way. Wow, okay, there's this big guy. I'm not sure who that is. And I think they're about to let in some new fish. So you have to take your shoes off for this one, I'm not going to bother because unless Jeremy comes out and tells me it's amazing, I don't often take my shoes off for temples. Okay, that was a lie. I do actually usually take my shoes off for temples, but this one doesn't look that amazing, if I'm honest, so I'm not going to bother. But um, I think I might go back and buy that pink fluffy headband, uh, not headband, hair grip thing, because 
I don't know, I thought it was cute. It reminds me of like something I would have bought in the 90s when I was like 10 or something. So I think my inner child is begging me to get a pink fluffy hair grip, so I think it's gonna happen. Especially because it's only two euros. I think in Europe, something like that would be like at least 10 euros. So it's cheap and it's cute and it'll make me happy. <laughs> So we came from over there. The temple we just went to go and see was down there, the one I didn't go in. And we've sort of come out at the end of Jonker Walk. So that's where the actual walkway is. And that's where most of the shops and markets and things last night were there. Um, so we've come to the end of Jonker Walk, almost. It kind of stops there. So we're nearly there, but um, I'm not sure where we're gonna go next. Okay, so we've walked a little bit further up, like, north and we're now next to the river as you can see and we're going to walk down like down the river to back home basically i think but i thought i would show you because it's super cute here so that's the bridge you just saw in the background and this is which way we're going so i think that is so adorable it's such a cute little place isn't this just the cutest little area i think it's so lovely how cute is this building here? It's all painted loads of different colours. This is so cute. So lovely. So we're just walking past this building and I wanted to show you. It's the Hard Rock Cafe and the canal and all the um, <clears throat> restaurants and things at sunset. I thought that was super cute. Anyway, we're still walking down the canal there. It's so pretty. So there's actually a food hall here. I don't know if you can hear me because it's super loud with the fans and things. But there's loads of different food vendors, which is cool. You can see it's in the middle as well. Ah, maybe we'll come here one night for dinner. It's called Makanda Avenue, if you ever want to come here. Jambatan, which I think means bridge, KG Jawa. But I thought I would show you this house. It's so cool how the staircases open like that with all those windows. It must get warm, but it's so cool. And then there's this one as well, Gallery Hotel, which I thought was really cool. Anyway, we are still walking along the water. Wow. Look at that with the church. It's so pretty here. Such an unexpected gem. Okay, so we're walking down here. I've just taking a couple of pictures, which I might pop on screen as well. But we're walking down here because there's somewhere called the Orangutan House and I think it's an art gallery with a big orangutan painting on the wall. So I'm hoping to find that. So we've come to this place which is called Orangutan and there's a big orangutan painting on the wall. I don't think I'm allowed to photograph inside but I'm just going to go and have a quick look. Okay, so that is the Orangutan House which is where I just met the artist and chatted to him which was awesome. And then here there's this street which is really cool and it's like all painted different colours. So cute! So I just walked past this place called Joe Design Handcrafted and it's for coffee and things like that but there's also um, lots of handmade things. It's so cute. Okay guys, we are now heading back to the um, hotel slash Airbnb and my vlogging got pretty bad. <laughs> so I thought I would show you the place that we are staying in when we go inside. So like I said, there's a canal there. You can't really see it properly. And we are in this red building. So this is the reception. We basically come upstairs and there's a desk and kind of this open space. There's some, well, there's one um, sofa. This is our blanket for the night because we had these small little blankets and it doesn't cover your feet and your shoulder. So we asked for another blanket. Our room is there. And then there's another one or two rooms, I'm not sure. There's a little table with a fridge, a TV and some workspace and some books. And then room number three, there's a couple of different rooms here. This one is female only. 
room nine and seven. And then there's a couple of bathrooms here as well. So bathroom at number one, there's a shower, a sink and a toilet. Number two has a shower and a toilet. And then number three, there's just a shower. And then we did some clothes washing. So that's my dress and my shorts hanging up. There's a washing machine, which you can use for five, which is like one euro. And then there's a water thing, um, a toaster, tea and coffee, cups and that kind of thing. And then I'll show you where we when we go through there. Okay, so ours is room number six. It's not very clean, so you have to forgive me. But we have AC and a window and a little bit of a hanging thing. Um, the double bed, that's all my things down that side, so I apologize. Double bed and these are the blankets that were not really long enough. And then this side is Jeremy's things and a desk. So it's pretty basic, but it does the job. And then out here, we have views over the river, which is quite cute. Okay, so last time I talked to you, it was about quarter past four. It's now about half seven, and we've come to the food court that we came to earlier today, but there was, like, nobody was open. So we've come back here again for dinner, so I thought I would vlog and show you. So this is what it looks like now that there's more people actually working. Um, there's different things open and it's cute as well because they've got tables set up across the road so that's really cute so i'm just going to show you the inside so basically you order from the place that you want and they have lots of different things available i'm tempted to buy the lemon chicken there or there was pork over there which i might get i'm not sure yet Okay, so first thing we've got is spinach um, with nuts, maybe? Garlic. Not in garlic? Yes, this is garlic. Oh, yummy. Okay, I've already started eating. I've eaten probably half of it, but this is my lemon chicken with a huge portion of rice. And Jeremy got... Um, sweet and sour? Sweet and sour chicken, yeah. So, good meal. Gonna enjoy that. So it's the very next day. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed looking around Malacca. I'm now about to start today's video. So make sure you subscribe and come back for today's vlog where we're gonna walk around the canals. Um, hopefully go and see a mosque on some sand and probably some other goodies. So make sure you subscribe, but thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.